Hello, I'm Mark Cartwright. I'll be your guide for the psychometric tutorial. Most students cringe at the thought of having to use a psychometric chart. I promise to keep this tutorial simple. If you follow along with this tutorial and try to do the example problem on your own, you should have no problem at all. So what is psychometrics? Psychometrics is the study of moist air. This chart was developed by Wills Carrier in 1904. The psychometric chart illustrates various relationships between sensible air temperature, relative humidity, dew point, wet bulb, humidity ratio, and specific volume. On the exam, you'll be given two properties of air, such as relative humidity and dew point. Where these two lines intersect on the chart, a point is plotted. From this single point, all other values can be determined using the psychometric chart. I'm going to briefly cover the seven properties of the psychometric chart, starting with dry bulb. The only trick to this chart is to understand how each property is represented on the chart. Dry bulb is represented by the vertical lines. The values are on the bottom of the chart. Wet bulb is used to infer the amount of water moisture in the air. It's just a measurement of the evaporation rate. Wet bulb temperature is represented by diagonal lines with the wet bulb values located on the top left hand side of the chart. Dew point is the temperature that the air must be cooled before condensation occurs. As you can see, the dew point temperature is represented by horizontal lines. The dew point temperature values are located on the top left hand side of the chart. Relative humidity is the ratio of water vapor compared to the maximum amount the air can hold. On the psychometric chart, the relative humidity lines are represented by the curved lines you see there in purple. Humidity ratio and specific volume are not used a whole lot. On the exam, if you're struggling with a psychometric question, get your modern refrigeration book up, look up psychometrics in the index, and solve the question. Here's a review of the material we just covered. The only trick to this chart is the line direction for each air property. I do not recommend spending a lot of your valuable time memorizing line direction. Just know where to look for answers. Here's an example problem for you to solve on your own. Please press pause, get your modern refrigeration book out, and find the dew point and relative humidity values before proceeding. Here's the 70 degree dry bulb temperature line and there is the 55 degree wet bulb diagonal line. Where the two lines cross, a single point can now be plotted. From this intersection, the rest of the values can now be found. The horizontal dew point line is now drawn, and a 43 degree dew point value is determined. The relative humidity value is at 38 to 39%. The psychometric chart is simple. There's no reason to fear this possible exam question. I wrote this tutorial to clear up any misunderstandings about the psychometric chart. It is the NCCTI's mission to serve the contractor community by providing the highest quality education materials. Please take a look at our website. You will find that we offer education materials that will help students succeed in getting their contractor's license. Thank you.